We're going to look at our prone cuff assessment procedure. And this is evaluating supraspinatus and infraspinatus. So this gives us an opportunity to offload a painful shoulder in this position. Supporting the arm on a towel or a cushion and then bringing the hand in to really support an offload. What we're looking for is 90 degrees at the shoulder and 90 degrees at the elbow. And we can add this support, as I say, underneath the forearm. We're looking at active and passive internal and external rotation. And in an ideal world, you would have a ratio of one to one. And so this is me passively moving Jack. And then I can invite Jack to do these movements on his own. So have a go and movement faults that might emerge include wrist extension and being pulled down into adduction. Also moving the arm into extension. So if the active and the passive range are in equal measure and the client achieves a reasonable number of repetitions when compared with the non-painful side, then this is a good test. If the active and the passive range of motion are equal and the client achieves a reasonable number of repetitions before fatiguing when compared with the non-painful side, then this is a test that tells us it's safe to progress to specific functional loading activities. Now let's look at the external rotation lag sign and this exposes Terry's minor. I'm going to support the arm in neutral, holding underneath the elbow and then passively externally rotate to the full extent. And then I'm going to let go. And if the arm was to fall inwards by more than 40 degrees, then this is a positive test. Looking at the bear hug, this exposes subscapularis. And if you would put your hand onto the opposite shoulder with the elbow away from the body, and then I'm just going to pull the hands to evaluate the tension, the strength, and whether or not there are any symptoms. We can do this at a lower level or at a higher level, and that really just helps us to differentiate between the upper and lower fibers of subscapularis, which is associated with more pain and thus not always tolerable. If it's torn, Somewhere in the region of 40% of patients attending accident and emergency departments will go on to have surgical repair. These are usually the younger age group with physically demanding lifestyles. The optimum time for this to occur is within four to six months. And so this gives us plenty of opportunities to prehab our clients for optimal results.